mean, that's the experience we want. How are we leveling this guy? Are we trying this shit build? All right, are we theory crafting this shit gunner build? Is that the plan? Or are we theory crafting a frontline sword master or both? Ugh. We had three redemptions for spreadsheets. I think we should at least pay attention. Yeah, I'm hiring that sword master. Did you see him almost solo the team? If there had been two of him, we would have lost that fight. So I'm very tempted to hire him for sure. Gunner Blade Dancer, that's right. That's that's the ultimate sword master, by the way. He shows up to a sword fight, pulls out a gun and shoots him, and that's the end of it. So we're gonna hire that. We get any of those weapons? No, of course not. Alright, let's have a quick look at I don't want to do forever on the build, so we'll look quickly, but a bunch of people did redeem points for that, so let's have a quick look at this. Okay. Yes, the best way to deal with sword masters is throwing weapons in net. And I didn't bring a net because I forgot and uh, didn't move my archer over there. So, All right, so I'll show you why I was build. Why I was build is this. Uh, which is Colossus. Quick hands, gifted, crossbow, uh, pathfinder, battle forged, uh, fearsome, axe spec. <laughs> it's just twice. Uh, brawny and steel brow. That's I wanted to use that same joke was used in chat, the sailor spy merchant, whatever the fuck joke, but I guess I don't. I guess it was used yesterday. I can't use it again today. I don't know why I would want this build, but we could. And the other build we're looking for is re uh, sword lance, right? Dedicated sword lance. I guess it's one word. Who knows? Was a sword lance a thing? Is there ever a universe in which someone pulled out a sword lance and the rest of the people weren't like, dude, just choose one. It's too many. Okay. All right. So we have our profit right there, which is fine. This has been working reasonably well. What would we... If we want to use it, it's not a dedicated sword lance, right? It was, it's, it's, it's called pocket sword, right? So what we care about for that would be stam. I'm trying to build the AOEs is why we care about that. So the profit's fine. Profit is because we actually want a backliner who's going to be yelling all the time. Now, we, we might even take away the famed sword lances from him because we might not want him not doing attacks. Right now, he's leveling and he's not a prophet, so he's just a dedicated back armor, but that makes sense. I don't want a bunch of these in my fucking builds because the orcs are going to slaughter these people later, even if they're killing orc young at a ridiculous rate. There's just, sooner or later, they're going to start getting hit. Um, but this is a little bit more interesting to me, a pocket sword lance. I guess I should just duplicate this, huh? Well, we'll do it in a minute. So if we did that... What would that look like? Oh, of course. Oops. Fine, I'll undo it with Control Z then if you won't let me do it normally. Just <laughs> again. No. Just, just take the text, please. Please, the text. What's the hotkey for just copy text? Fuck off. Okay, I give up. Give up, give up, I give up. I'll just type it again, it's fine. I'm dubious about random. Thanks, chat. Uh, I forget I asked. I'm dubious about entering random hotkeys into my spreadsheets. All right. Yeah, there's the inevitable alt for it. Right? Okay. So this is why I was built, and I don't know why the fuck I'd want to build this. So it looks like, and it levels, hold on. He did have leveling priorities too, which is important, right? So he wants, 
He wants 95 ranged attack. 85 melee attack. 30 melee defense. 45 plus usable stam. And I don't care about the HP one isn't relevant for this. The HP will get 70. That's what he wants for stats, essentially. Okay. Control shift V is values only. Oh, nice. Okay. I don't know if we'll do that anytime soon, but. All right. All right, so what is this doing? Well, it took Fearsome. That's its first mistake. Fearsome does make some sense with guns, since I assume that guns don't do very high damage, which means you're not getting a lot of armor, a lot of HP damage. You'll cause a resolve check, which you want. So that makes some sense. Brawny is, this, Brawny is just basically Stam, so you can get away with raising less Stam. Steelbrow is a defensive perk up front. That's okay. I'm not very keen on builds that don't use Battleforge, or not Battleforge, um, Killing Frenzy. So I would never not run this. I would always swap Steelbrow for Killing Frenzy here, always. But we can maybe do that with Colossus instead. No, I'm not, I'm not ridiculing this build. I, I, I'm just trying to make sense of the build. It asks for a lot of things. But we did start with a 52 range attack brother with one star, which means on average it's two to four. So we're getting, and it forces, it forces three, right, on that. So it's between three and four. I guess we can do it the easy way, right? Two to four is 30 plus 10 or plus five off the star. It's 35, right? So 35 on top of that is 87, 86 usable plus gifted is 90. So he gets 90. We have range, we have 90 range attack on that short, on that um that guy if we want it. So we could do that. And what do we lose doing that? So we're going to presumably lose quite a lot of stam pool. So we're going to go from a multi-attacker possibly to not a multi-attacker. Now we might not. We don't have a fatigue roll on that brother and he didn't start with particularly high fatigue. I'm not sure how heavy, I mean, what's his stamp pool gonna actually look like? If we look at that brother right now compared to other comparable brothers, what do we look like for stamp pool? So if we look, that's this guy. I don't know if we signed his first stats, where is he? It's this guy. I think we did take that first one without taking any of those range rolls. I mean, he's only got 92 fatigue, which is not a lot. So maybe making him something that doesn't use multi-attacks makes some sense. He will have a lot of resolve too, because he starts with 44, and this is prior to any cultist events and any arenas and any trinkets. So he'd probably be in the 60 range for um, resolve in the end, if he gets there. Yeah, he's gonna carry around a lot of shit. I don't know if he's gonna get the fatigue to get there a while, like quite honestly. Like, what is a, do you know what the weight of your stuff is? I mean, if we look at those stats again, where is it here? 92 starting. And he's already missed two fatigue rolls. So really we're looking at, uh, what is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We're looking at eight more levels. So eight more levels at three average if we hit stam every time and we don't want to hit stam every time. I mean, that's only 24 on top of that. That's 116. That's really light stamina. He sits middle line. He's not reloading that gun ever then. You can't zero, you can't stam neutral reload a gun, right? Or can you? I don't know what the stamina is like for that. That doesn't seem great to me. He'll get profit stam. We don't have profits yet, Amic. Hey, we're getting working that way, but we're not there yet. That's why 45. All right, chat, I'm too tired to fucking figure out if I want to do this or not. I guess the question is, do you all want to see this or not? Do we try it? Do we try WyO's build? 
All my Battleforge snipe that aren't zero stam. Yes. Yes, absolutely. Fuck. I asked the wrong people. God damn it. All right. All right. Okay. I know, it feels like such a bad use of our high melee attack. I agree 100%. I'm not, I'm not building this without, so oh, let's go back to the spreadsheet. We can talk about that on here. So, uh, where is it? There. So I'm not doing this without killing Frenzy. I'm not taking zero damage spec, damage abilities on this character. There's no reason. Like why the fuck would I ever want to do that? I get no Berserk because we don't have the stam to run it, but I don't get no killing Frenzy. So Killing Frenzy needs to be on there. So we can drop Colossus for Killing Frenzy. I like Underdog and everybody. Can he fit it? So he's fitting gun, reach axe, regular axe, or you're just trying to run him with a reach axe in general. Yeah, well, I'd never take Steel Brow either. If I did this, this would be... And this would be Killing Frenzy. You can sort out the order in a minute. Why Battle Forge over Nimble? Because he's not going to have any Stam. So you can't... And he doesn't want a ton of HP. Where he's Because he has to level three other stats, Range Attack, Melee Attack, and Melee Defense, he doesn't get to level Stam or, stam or HP almost ever. I mean, as it is, we're what? Passing up melee attack rolls? This guy has 92 fatigue right now. 92. Can you find out armor you can wear so I can figure out what stam he needs? Um, I mean, I can look at the armor we have. If you figure out the stam, that, maybe that's the way to do it. Make you work for your build. I like it. I like it. All right. Well, look, I mean, I'm happy to look through my armor. Is that what you're asking? I would like him in at least these 300s. These 300s are 25. If he can't wear those 300s, I have a bunch of this middle range shit, but it's real bad. I've got 300 for 25. None of these have the right attachments either. This is 263 for 22. This one is 231 for 20. I mean, we can fit them in some of those. 2515, that's likely. We don't have a lot of hats yet, but I think 2515 is pretty likely. Probably call it 2715, because this is going to have an attachment on it sooner or later. So, yeah, 2715, call it that. Okay, uh, while while is working on that, Look at that, crowdsourcing a little bit. Let's fire up the other build that we're looking at, which is the pocket sword build, right? This one is a little interesting to me with now that we have the famed sword lances. I would never do it before that, but now that we do, uh, what would we do for this? We can worry about all the, I guess I could central, it's fine. Fine, 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 fine. All right, uh, and these we want to multi-attack. So it's got, it's got to have all the regular stuff, right? Which is, I mean, is there anything we need to change? This is just a axe with a weapon spec. Instead of weapon specking the spec you're using, you weapon spec the spec that's your secondary weapon. So you can AOE a bit and then you build stamina. It's fine. Do we want reach advantage on it? I guess we could. I mean, this is essentially the two-hander build, right? It's just this, it's this one over here. Where is it? That build right here, trying to fit in reach advantage if we want it. I don't even know if we want reach advantage in it, really.
we're at 20 remaining at the moment without brawny and 30 with brawny is that right so we're like 15 stamina away so we need four four five perfect rolls eight stamina back without a great axe we have a light we have a reduced weight great axe in inventory while right now can maybe use that one it weighs uh it weighs sorry for those of you who don't like the spreadsheeting we're almost done weighs minus 11. Yeah. I, I don't want to give up um i don't want a pure reach brother using an axe a reach axe is a weak damage dealer it's just it's just not a good thing to do i don't mind the idea of gunning up front and then switching to a great axe i really do mind the idea of gunning up front and switching to a long axe okay all right, for this though, working through these. Yep, well, for sure. For these, Colossus Student Gifted, Brawny Underdog, Battle Forward Ninja, what can we cut? If we're trying to get reach advantages, and I don't know why we want reach advantage in, what could we cut? Cut Steel Brow. This is already an optional. We're already weapon specking, so we can't. I don't want to build late game Nimble Brothers versus Orcs if I can avoid it, so I'd rather battle, build this Battle Forged. Um, we might not be able to though if we can't take because there's nothing there's nothing here to cut, right? I mean, lot, most of these I guess Colossus is potentially cuttable as as cultist. I don't cut Underdog, especially not on a frontliner. This is supposed to be a frontliner. How important is Gifted? Well. The thing about Gifted is it's, it's a lot of stats. If you're using all three stats, it's super good, right? If you're using the melee defense and the melee attack, which everybody is, it's good by, by itself. But if you also care about the stam, then it's really good. Well, if we're cutting Underdog for reach advantage, I'd just rather have Underdog. It's just always a better amount of... The reason why we run Underdog in the first place over reach advantage, despite running two-handers, is because Underdog's a more consistent melee defense buff. So from here... I think the only cuttable ones are Colossus, which is a maybe, and then, um, and only because of uh, Cultus. And then, and then the only other thing I can see to change here is Brawny, Brawny and Battleforge become, uh, become nimble. But I don't want to build this brother nimble, because I'm tired of having too many nimbles. We're getting wrecked by orcs right now. We're not, it's not cuttable. Brawny is definitely not cuttable here, right? Because the problem is we're we're attempting the only reason to build this because this is the mixed two-hander reach specialist and the other one right the only reason and what are we trying to add we're trying to add um, uh, we're trying to add hold on a sec right the optional that we're trying to add right now is reach advantage and if we're trying to add reach advantage well what the fuck are we cutting for it we're not cutting underdog the only reason to do this is. To, to take advantage of that. So, we're not getting Pathfinder. So this would be Axe Polearm Spec. Can't cut Pathfinder on Athletic Bros either. It's not, it's not only the stam, it's the movement, it's the AP cost. Cut gifted before Colossus. Maybe we just don't take reach advantage. And just run it as is. Wait, what is the other thing I'm trying to get in? Nothing, I just want lots of stam. I mean, we could just do this. This is just specking. This is just like the unspecked one. This is just an axe, axe spec or no spec becomes uh, this. I don't think we can cut Brawny. Right, we, can, we, can, we can start here. This is this is a fine thing to move towards. We can flesh out the last perk or two at the end to make the decision. Yeah. I refuse to cut fucking Pathfinder on anybody. Can't make me while wow. He cannot make me. All right. Successful spreadsheeting. As per always, we'll test it before we put it up there permanently kind of deal. All right, we finished this fight versus whatever the hell we were fighting. We're looking for Alps. We're going up this way. We need ammunition. Ammunition and Alp fights. 156 is fine. And we can't hire anyone. We need powder. We need the powder. 
Uh, is it even worth going to that? I don't even think you can get help fights in those. I guess we want to check the armorer and the weaponsmith. But if we pass through it during the day, that's fine. Hmm. Right? This can't be an help mission. No. Okay. Armor from the gods sealed in the Withered Duke's Coven, coven rather, uh, near Walkenberg. Uh, okay, take a famed armor. Let's camp for a second. All right, uh, there's a weapon that we're interested in here. Okay. Yeah, double two-hander hits are very strong, for sure. We've had Adrenaline in other builds before. Okay. I did check. The Hound can be done. That's interesting. He is determined, lucky, one melee skill star, one range star, and triple initiative. Triple initiative melee attack star is actually interesting. I really feel like the, the that's the only thing you care about for the fencer, really. Um, I can roll on farm hands. I don't really, I can't really convert anybody else right now. Is the problem well? Thanks, <laughs> country and orange. The thumbnail had you doing spreadsheet stuff, and I got excited. Okay. We're expecting to switch weapons. Wait, on which one? Yeah, we almost always expect to switch weapons. Okay. All right. So, what do they say? What was that fucking rumor? It's just around here. It doesn't give a location. Okay. Around's pretty wide. And the name of it one last time was something something coven. Withered Duke's Coven. All right. So it's like an ad for erectile dysfunction or something. Okay. Is this the, the Withered Duke? No, this is the Stirring Crypt, but it's on theme. The Uncharted Cave and the Stirring Crypt. All right. We'll take both those fights while we're right here. Should have bought tools. Uh, what is this fight? Uh, berserkers. All right, that's fine. It's a necro spawn. Interesting. Oh no! We have a rugged surcoat in inventory. Shit. We need conversion events right now. Yeah, I'm going, that's where I'm headed to, Nerf, because we haven't scouted that area, the mountains northeast of um, the spot. May or may not be there, but that's where I'm going as well. All right, how's everyone's HP? Did we lose a shit ton of HP on Amic? We did. All right, let's grab our two fights real quick. I guess we can take that one first. We don't know what's in there exactly. We have a much worse banner now, sadly. He's got a good resolve, just all the rest of his stats suck. Uh, our fencer wants to come in for this too. We have our bird. Where's our bird? Go. Okay. Alright, first test of the bird. No necro? Fucking golden. Favorite starts. Um, I like the really different ones. The cultists are really fun. Um, gladiators are very fun because they're very, very powerful. Um, I like poachers for the speed and uh, information. It's pretty nice too. Um, what other ones have I really enjoyed? Those are the ones that come to mind. I'm sure there's others. Did I lose the bird? No, the bird is a reusable. You just get it once per fight.
All right, I need more beer, I believe. I got five and a half, I got five and a half hours left of stream time left. Dude, the extended streams are fun. Go. Anonymous were fun. They just, they weren't good though, was the problem. Although they were fun. Yeah, it hurts and the perks are very late to come online. New subscriber. Come steal yourself. We are building an army. Thanks for the gift of subs, Anonymous. Why is my banner not in range of everybody? It's a questionable decision. Need to fix that. Stand to move, okay? Okay. It's hard to get these AoEs. AOE. I guess that really doesn't do it. That tile is so good for us. Can you move? And then we'll take that tile.
All right, don't need Ejirok Helm on this guy right now. We just healed. And what's the hat situation like that? Anyone take body damage? No. You could wear this helm to not die to berserkers though. Seems good. All right, let's do berserkers. Go. Mm, could have brought somebody besides the duelist. Thrower would actually have been good here. Have the wrong weapons equipped for reasons. How long before you go? Six turns, so anyone can deal with you. No, we don't. Stack jet. Actually, I gotta go up and do a COVID test in a second, and then uh, we'll come back and keep going. the southern army that will do it it's not a lot to a, a new free fight it's literally just hang around behind shield brothers preferably kite shield brothers and kill the afrites after they've acted and after they've thrown their little guys focus firing one little guy at a time i mean that's the that's the short and long of it it's not a complicated fight this guy not acted yet oh i've been ending turn like he's done um Shit, I just ended my turn for everybody. Because I was thinking about... Oh, well, okay. I'm sure we'll be fine. Okay. He wants to posture? Great. It's fine. You can posture. <laughs> it's not a, not a rapid one. Um, 
It's uh, one of the send-in ones. My wife uh, is a teacher and uh, has been a... Uh, two of her colleagues have tested positive that she spent a lot of time around, so it's likely we're gonna learn to love that. For now, it's not the right guy. Dude, I hate how he can go first and last. You can't do that. It's fucking cheating. Stop going first and last, okay? I'm about to lose my... This shouldn't be hard right now. Uh, okay. Can I do any damage here? I cannot. The fact that those things can one-shot a couple of my brothers at this stage before the cultist candles is really disturbing. All right, so I gotta go give saliva. I'll be by like two minutes as I spit into a tube and then we'll be back in a second. So good luck.
All right, back. All right, Jack, I didn't mean to stir up trouble or stir up strong opinions in chat mentioning COVID. So let's uh, try to keep it game related if possible. Ah, but we're ready to get going again. All right, HP is good. Let's keep going on the stam. Okay. Got another beer, ready to go. Chat, do I have to do that? Did we decide that we weren't doing wild spoke because it was crap? Okay. All right, and we're looking for the famed item that's around here. Yeah. Okay. It was called a coven of something something. There's water mill. Those are orcs. What are they doing? I should check if there's a leader. That's experience running around. There it is. The Withered Duke's Coven. Sweet. Okay. Pog Fame Dumber. I know. All right. What do we want to take that with? Do we have... Chat, remind me, does Strange Mushrooms imp uh, interact with reach weapons or no? Can I reach, can I get reach damage with that? I can, okay. So we should start hoarding mushrooms. All right. So who do we want to fight this with? We got nets. We could come bring this guy. It's not terribly exciting, but it's okay. Probably should bring a shield if we're going to do that. How are we doing on people right now? We have two people waiting on conversions. We might lose one of them, sadly. We've got a brain damage duelist, but he's back in shape now. We can bring a mortal to this. We don't really care that much about brain damage here. All right, so probably our least useful people in this fight are actually our sword lances, but sword lances might actually be fine. How many is it? The it's yeah, it's it's auxiliary spam, so it's actually pretty good. We could pull the orcs into this. I've never tried that fight. It looks like it'd be fun. Although I can imagine a world in which the orcs just stun me repeatedly as necro savants hit me, which is less exciting. 60 HP, 68 HP is a little low for this. So 64 and 69. I want the famed items more than I want the experience. So maybe we. Have these people sit, even though they'd be good otherwise. Go. Pet the orcs in. We could. It's probably just more complicated than it's worth. I like the three-way fights, but I like them when they're giving me advantage, not when they're making it harder. Um, all right. What are our side tiles look like? I'm gonna bring. I'm gonna bring Amic to this. Go. Um, Hoppage here. Who's our other? Oh, he's now this guy. Like this, like this. We have a shield, we do. We have a dagger, we do. All right, maces here. Nets there. Uh, noob probably can't do this like that then. And bring Lullaways if we want a fishy fencer. Chaos is fine here. Especially if we give him HP regen. Like that armor there. We're missing hats. We need some famed hats, I think. This is 11. I don't really believe in a Velkus in this one. I think he's a little squished for this fight. Might want to put some armor on Mugen. 49, 305 is fine. <sighs> Dude, what does it take to find wolves? That's insane right now. AD there, huh? Okay. Can't be here. Fencer's terrible in this fight. Cleaver's okay. Okay. 
50 like that. Actually like that, huh? All right, let's try this. Brain damage head knight hedge knight is ten right now. How has it turned out? It's okay. Didn't roll very well on the melee defense side, but I got an idea for it. We're gonna do the tall dagger build with um, alternate puncture build. Head knight. Yep. Got hit in the head. Still a knight. Head knight. Uh, Whip Banner wants to be here because Necro Savant's occasion will panic you. And you lose the... And they're pretty accurate, so if you if you don't have a rally, you just die. Adaptive and Backstabber. Backstabber is something I occasionally take on banners. It's just really risky to have your defensive brother with the whip, like who's disarming orc warlords, sometimes just not be able to do that. Just misclicked. God damn it. Oops, didn't realize the guy next to me, somehow. I didn't believe it would go ahead, so I shot for the body on this guy. Of course it hits head. Funny. Never don't believe.
Hey, it's an armor, head armor too. Nice. I actually needed head armor right now. A million powders. We can never find Alps though, so the powders are less good. Okay. Got some food in front of me. I'm just going to munch on that, kill the camera for that.